Hi, this is Amber with WaveRes, and today we're going to go over how to set up a receipt printer. Now this is as if you've gotten the receipt printer for the first time and you're just now setting it up, or maybe you're having some troubleshooting problems. These are some good steps to go through. So first, we're going to go ahead and take your printer and plug it in to power and to the USB to your computer. Next, you can make your way over to our Help Center where where we do have an article that contains all the steps to basically set up a printer. So you will have to have Java on your computer to start. Um, most likely you already do, but QZ Tray will prompt you later if you don't know where to get that from. Next, you're going to want the driver for the printer, and I have cleared all of this stuff off of my computer so we can go ahead and set it up as if I've never done it for the first time. So. This is a printer that we have and that I have currently sitting next to me and I am going to go ahead and make my way down to the driver for this printer. So here is the Windows 10 driver. I am on Windows 10 so I'm going to download that one. And we're going to go ahead and open up this file and run the setup. You have to authorize your computer too. So go ahead and accept all of this. This is the receipt printer. We'll set it as the default, especially if this is a work computer and you want receipts to print here, we do want to set it as a default. Um, setup type will just do typical. Leave everything as is. And install. Now it's going to go ahead and install that printer for us. Just wait until this gets done. All right, so it's telling us to go ahead and repower the printer. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to do that off screen. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So we now have that power reset and we'll come back and see what we have to do now. So this gives you, walks you through the steps on how to set it up um, with the driver. And then you have to go to the QZ tray to download. Now I do already have this downloaded, but we will go to the website to see. So on here, it's giving us the latest version of QZ tray, you would go ahead and click this and follow the instructions to download it. Now, once that downloads, you will see this little icon down here in the bottom of your screen. So we have a little printer icon. This is QZ tray. If you hover over it, now how you get to that is just the arrow here and then the little printer icon. Once you click on that, you can make sure automatically start is checked and make sure you want that checked just so anytime your computer restarts it will start back up QZ tray. Advanced site manager. Now we want to go in here and make sure that we don't have anything allowed. This is what it should look like on a fresh install. So we'll move that out of the way for now. So now we've downloaded QZ tray and we've made sure we don't have any sites. Everything's fresh, driver's ready to go. So we should, then at this time, you would already be at your login screen here and just go ahead and log into WaveRes. Once you're logged into WaveRes, just simply go to Daily Manifest. This is gonna get a pop-up on the screen saying action required. Go ahead and remember this decision and then click allow. And then that is going to, going to allow it in the future as well so you don't have to click that every time. Now I clicked receipt and I don't know if you heard my printer in the background there but um, it did go ahead and print out that receipt for me. So that is how you set it up from start to finish. Now if you keep getting that pop-up that says to allow or deny um, the printer just make sure whenever you click before you click allow make sure you click that remember this decision so that you don't have to click that every single time you want to print something. So now if you bring back up site manager, you will see it, the Atlantic RS is allowed. And that is from us at WaveRes, just allowing QZ tray to print from there. 
Now, if you ever had any issues, you can troubleshoot by simply just clicking on this, clicking the minus button to delete it, and then kind of restarting the process. Make sure your QZ tray is up to date and your drivers installed.